Yo, what's up everyone? Zonobra here coming at you with another video for a prediction of EU LCS this time. If you guys haven't seen my NA LCS prediction, go check it out. It's another video on this channel. Uh, just so you know guys, EU LCS isn't my strong uh, suit, I want to say. Like, I'm not an expert on EU LCS. I've never really been interested in EU LCS. Uh, when I was a shotcaster and analyst, uh, for a French studio, I actually was for the NALCS. Like, I was really into NALCS and I got recruited because I knew stuff about the NALCS. USS is on my strong point, so do not bet money on what I'm going to tell you. That's just uh, something I have to tell you because I'm not really. I did some research. I've seen like some win rates and what people play and what are the strong points of every team. We're going to talk about the third place match and the first, first place match as well. Uh, I'm just going to give you my opinion about the prediction that I personally have. If you have a different one, please feel free to share them in the comment down below. I will be very interesting to talk to you guys in the comment section or over on Twitter. All my links of my social medias are also in the description of this video. So let's get started, guys, with the third place match. Fnatic against H2K. Fnatic going 11-2 during regular season and H2K going 9-4 during regular season. So we have a few matchups that I want to talk about. So I got my sheet here and I really want to say that I'm going to talk about like each matchup and see what is like uh, where is going the advantage for a team. And then I'm going to talk about overall like the team positive, uh, positive and negative points and what to look for. So the top lane uh, matchup is going to be Soaz against Odo Amne. So I really, I think both are really talented. Soaz is very experienced. He's been playing like since season one, I think. Like he was, uh, well, he was playing at Fnatic. He was, uh, I mean, he was at AAA against All Authority and then he went to Fnatic. Damn, I know my shit actually, man. I have, I have some memories, man. I'm like an OG uh, esports fan of League of Legends. Uh, super, like he played throughout all the metas in the top lane and he's very very good his last season he hasn't been really performing so well this season he's been doing really much better than like last year and the year before that it was kind of sloppy and Obdamne is like this young uh, talent that is really surprising both have very exotic picks and I'm really looking forward to the matchup but I'm gonna have to give the advantage to Soaz because well Individually, he has a better champion pool, and I think that mechanically he's more solid, especially with like different champions that can make a difference. But it's also the synergy with the team and the, the way he uses teleport to make plays. Uh, I think it's really, really makes, what makes him win the advantage here in this matchup. So let's now talk about the jungle. So Broxa on Fnatic and Jankos in H2K. I'm going to give the advantage here to Jankos because, I mean, this guy, man... Ever since he joined the LCS, he's been just like in a very upward uh, like slope when it comes to skill. Um, champion pool is insane. Very, very smart, smart, intelligent player. I'm looking forward to see him play. Broxa, I did some research. I was like, yo, what is this guy about? I haven't really found anything really crucial or interesting. Uh, I feel like he's more like a, t I don't want to say rookie, but like... I feel like Jankos is a name that we've been seeing around for a lot of time. And Broxa isn't just something that I'm feeling. I feel like he is the underdog for this matchup. But I'm not saying he's bad or anything. I'm just looking forward to the matchup. Next, guys, is the mid lane. So, Caps is going to play against Febivan. I'm a huge fan of Febivan. I think he his gameplay is somewhat super interesting uh, when he's comfortable. Uh, you can feel that when he has like confidence in his gameplay, he's like he's like a super smart player. For some reason, like, he's, like, super... Sometimes he's just, like, very, very awakened, and he does, like, such an amazing stuff. So I'm really looking forward to it. Cap's also a super talented dude. Uh, very, very interesting matchup. They both have amazing picks. And this is, like... What I like about ELCS is that it's really, like, you see different stuff. Like, you see some Cassiopeia. Uh, you see some Milaners that you don't really see often on other regions. And I really like that. I'm going to give the advantage to Febivan. Let me know in the comment down below if you agree as well. Then, guys, let's talk about the balling together. I don't want to talk about ADC against ADC. Maybe I did that for my NLCS video, but I really want to talk about bot lane. So we have Reckless and Jesus, and we have Nuclear and Shay. So for this uh, matchup, guys, let's talk about Reckless and Nuclear. Uh, I think Reckless is way more experienced and should be uh, getting the advantage, but it's also his synergy with his support that is super interesting. And we've been seeing more playing like stuff like Varus, uh, Brom, like stuff that we don't see often. And Reckless, like, 
I mean, you can tell this guy is a genius. Like, he can play whatever you want him to play, and he'll just be super impressive with it. But he's also this type of player that can very have a sloppy performance throughout a game. Or they can be just like such a genius. You're like, yo, what the hell is this guy? Like, he's so good. So maybe a lack of consistency. Maybe that's what I'm trying to express. But I still think that J uh, Justice and Reckless have a better chance to performing uh, like better than H2K's bot lane. But again, those are very close, close team. I know that Fnatic lost very bad against Misfits, and Misfits made them look super bad. Honestly, I was kind of disappointed of seeing Fnatic uh, lose that much. Like, Fnatic is an organization that was, like, champions for so many years. They did the undefeated season. It's really impressive. This is where Yellowstar comes from, one of my favorite players and personality in the esports world. Um, but on the other hand, H2K was, like made looked extra bad by G2 Esports that we're going to talk for the first place. So, I want to say that I'm looking forward to the matchup in the mid lane and the bot lane. Not so in the top lane and jungle, but we'll see how things goes. I think what they have is the draft is going to be super, super important because all those teams are trying to secure very exotic picks and sometimes uh, a good draft can mean like a whole lot different like perspective into the game for those teams. And... I'm really looking forward to it. Like, drafts are going to be very, very important because I know that Febivan needs a comfort pick. I know that Reckless is capable of playing a lot of things, but sometimes when you ban the right champion, you can really uh, make him, like, suffer, I want to say. And we'll see how he goes. Also, 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 Soaz, Soaz, like a French player, he is very easily... Uh, I want to say he gets very easily tilted. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. And I'm, I'm not like sh shooting fire or whatever. But I feel like he is very sensitive to being camped in the top lane. And that can really affect his mood and his performance in the game. So, Jenkos, if he starts camping Soaz and Soaz starts to have a hard time in the top lane, he has a hard time coming back. Sometimes it happens, but I feel like sometimes he's the type of player that gets tilted very easily. And... He cannot just move past it during the game. So that's it to talk about Fnatic H2K. My prediction is going to be 3-2 for Fnatic. I really can't wait for this matchup. I think it's going to be a very long best of five with a lot of like sloppy moves and mistakes and just lack of experience and like very like not impressive moves. I don't think this is going to be a very entertaining best of five in my opinion, of course, if you have a different one, that's cool too. Uh, I think it's going to be a long best of five. Long, long best of five. Three and two for Fnatic. If you agree or if you have another prediction, let me know in the comment down below, please. Let's move on, guys, to the first place. Misfits against a G2 Esports, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Misfits going six and seven in the regular season, which is super impressive because they came back this playoff super hard, super impressed. And I feel like this is going to play a huge part into my prediction because I feel like they're, they're pumped. Like, they're pumped. They had a sloppy regular season, and then they managed to go to the finals to the first place, which uh, can only motivate them to go and go and, like, far, and why not taking the first place, right? Against G2 Sports guys who went 8 win and 5 loss during regular season, G2 won 3-0 against H2K. And, Fnat uh, and Misfits won 3-1 against Fnatic. I'm reading my notes, guys, just so I have every information to give you guys and I don't do any mistakes. So, let's talk about the matchup, guys. Go over what the teams are about, and then I'll do my prediction. If you guys have a comment, don't forget to uh, like have a conversation with me in the comment down below. I really do enjoy talking esports. And, yeah, if you have something to share, please do. So, the top lane matchup is going to be Al Fari against Expect. So... I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't really know those top laners. I don't know them. I try to see some gameplay real quick before recording this video. I try to see some win rates and some picks. All I can say is that uh, Alfari did super well against Fnatic. Whereas Expect didn't do so well against H2K from what I saw. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to express myself on this matchup because I don't feel comfortable doing anything so i'm just going to put an equal sign between those two and we'll see how it goes i know that those uh, those two players are are new to the scene i want to say or fairly new to the scene but we'll see how it goes so max lore against trick in the jungle guys trick is something for me who was the most i want to say like the biggest upcoming talent for uh the ulcs i really love his game style 
Uh, his, he's mechanically very talented, and his game knowledge is super interesting. And he plays stuff that are really different. And I really want him to do well, especially because he puts perks, the mid laner, in such good situations sometimes in games. It's very, very interesting to see. And uh, you can almost get inspired from it. If you guys are a solo queue player and you play jungle, watch out for tricks. Like, trick is, is going to become a really great jungle in the next few seasons, I believe. At least I believe. So, the mid lane, guys. Power of Evil. P-O-E, uh, P-O-E-M. X, uh, Unicorns of Love is going to play against uh, Perks. So, this matchup, guys, is definitely going to be an interesting one. Uh, P.O.E. is, like, super talented. He plays a lot of champions. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but that's really true. Like, P.O.E. is a very talented mid laner, very young. Uh, he plays a lot of different champions, and he's adapting to a meta very easily. Like, he's just he's just that type of player. And Perks, he's also super good, but I just want to say that he's not as charismatic as P.O.E., and it can really cost him a game. Like, he doesn't want to do a move. He's just very consistent in his performance. And it's a good bad, it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. Because when you're trying to fight for the first place, as a carry in the mid lane, you need to make a difference somehow. Like, you need to be some sort of aggressive. You need to take some kind of risks. And I feel like Perks is not that type of player. P.O.E. is, and he's very talented at it. Has He's more experienced. He's been playing, like, splits with uh, Unicorns of Love, where he performed, like, to, to the highest uh, levels. So, I'm really looking forward to that. After this, the bot lane, guys. So, it's going to be Ensama against Ignar, and uh, against Sven against Missy. So, those are two bot lanes that are used to playing with each other. Like, Ensama, Ignar in one side, and Sven, Missy. I think Sven, Missy are having better synergy. But Han Sama, uh, I'm going to be like a little bit nationalist, like he's French, so I'm going to go for him because he's very talented, he's so, so young, and it's just so impressive. Like he's a talent, the one thing I'm scared is that he chokes, and I don't talk about this too much, we don't talk about this too much, but uh, he's very young, and he's going to play against... Um, I think it's 12,000 people. 12,000 people in the Accord Arena in Paris. And this can be extremely intimidating for him because he plays at home. A lot of people are going to be, yo, Hensama, uh, we are in France. We want you to perform. We are French. It's your crowd. You have to do something great. I'm not saying it is going to be stressful for him, but I feel like some people can be stressed from that like it can be a stressful situation when you have so many people coming from you expecting a lot from you and it can be intimidating so i expect him maybe to have like a sloppy first game and then maybe get in the zone after that but i really hope he really focuses and and just let his talent speak like because this this kid is like he's really good and if you don't know about him go check out highlights of him go check out some gameplay uh, and if you're an ADC, I'm sure you can learn a lot from him. So I want to give it. To, I will give it to Sven and Missy and Missy because they have more experience. They have a really good synergy. I, I like my heart says Hensama, but my natural view says Sven and Missy. So I'm just gonna give the point for the G2 bot lane. So I watched a little bit of the both teams' picks and the history in. Um, the the EU LCS period, and whereas uh, G two did a better season, regular season at eight and five, than Misfits that was six and seven, I want to say that Misfits has done so much better. Like the second half of the split, has been like such an impressive performance, such an increase in skill and like level of gameplay than the first half of the season. And I feel like Misfits has acquired so much confidence over the last few weeks. And this could mean a lot of good things for the team going to this finals. They must be pumped. They must be super motivated after a sloppy start of the season. And this can show like a very strong motivation. Misfits look super good against Fnatic. And that can really uh, scare G2, I want to say. I, I mean, not scare like that, but you know what I mean. Like, uh, going from a 6-7 regular season to like... Battling for first place can be super, super motivating, and you can gain a lot of confidence, and this really, really impacts the game. 
After this, guys, they both play a lot of pick. Like, and when I say a lot of pick, I really mean a lot of pick. Like, they don't have a small champion pool. I mean, they're pro gamers, right? So you can't really be a pro gamer with a small champion pool. But they really pick things that are out of the blue. So look forward to draft, look forward to bans, and look forward to what they're going to do uh, in terms of uh, early game, how they're going to put uh, PoE versus perks. Uh, into like a good situation early on and let's see what they do with the TPs because I know that Alfari and Expect which are equally skilled can do a lot of things with their TPs even though I don't know them I saw that they, they can do amazing plays and from what I saw on YouTube they're really really talented so again guys I'm not a pro at EULCS those was my prediction with the little research I had the time to do uh, my prediction here is going to be a 3-1 for esports a G2 esports because I think that I want to I want to believe in him. I really do, but I really think that Hensama is not going to perform that well due to stress or due to something like that. I wish him all the best. I want him to succeed, but I think that playing against so many people that expect so much from you can have a lot of negative impact, especially because Hensama has experienced like stress from crowds and stuff like this in the past. And I'm just afraid that he won't be able to focus. So, I think that maybe G2 is going to take the first two games. Maybe Misfits is going to take the third one. But G2 is going to close it at the fourth game for 3-1 win uh, against Misfits. So, we'll see how this goes, guys. Just to recap, Fnatic uh, will win 3-2 against H2K, which is my prediction. And Misfits will lose 3-1 to G2. Best of luck to everyone. Best of luck to the French player, which are Hensama and Soaz. Uh, wishing you all the best. Those were my predictions. Don't forget to share yours in the comment down below or on Twitter. I'll see you for the next video, guys, tomorrow. Cheers. Yeah, I'm not afraid, not afraid to say what I want and then be who I want. God on my side, let him be the judge. End of the day, work it and tough. And I think about what the future holds. And I take my time and I know one day that we reach our goals Oh, I tell him, yeah I tell him Everything is good, everything is great On the rise, hold up, wait